14. Witness Maggie Hunker, who didn't want to be videotaped today, told jurors today that Cross, in fact, was the shooter on April 14th, April 13th, 2014. And she said once she watched him shoot and kill Lamano, he put the gun to his side, saw her frozen, staring at him. And Hunker was at Village Shalom Care Center to visit a friend and describes what happened when she witnessed Lamano, a mother facing the barrel of Cross's alleged shotgun. She was screaming, no, 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 pointed it at me and turned to me and he said, are you a Jew? And I said, no. And then he turned and put that gun in the trunk of his car, closed the trunk, got in the car and drove off to the west. I thought if I say the answer that he doesn't want to hear, he will shoot me just like he shot her. Now, Carissa later apologized to her in court, but did say that yes, in fact, if she would have given the wrong answer, that in fact, well, you can surmise what would have happened to you is what he said. Tonight at 5, we're going to talk about this video camera, dashboard video camera in the Overland Park police officer's car that shows the arrest of Fraser Glenn Cross. In Overland Park, Amy Holly, 41 Action News. It's so horrific to think about them having to relive that. And as Amy mentioned, Fraser Glenn Cross apologized to witness Maggie Hunker, but not before making her relive that day. If you, if you thought about the people who were killed, including the after her testimony wrapped up, Officer Amy Malone was called to testify and she was dispatched to the scene right after the shootings. Tara Hall with more on her testimony. All of that, so chilling to listen to. So Officer Malone, she was in court. Uh, she said that when she arrived, she could, could see blood running from Terry Lamano's car at Village Shalom. She felt for a pulse but didn't find one. She also said there were holes in the hands of Terry Lamano and that it seemed like maybe she had tried to defend herself but wasn't successful. Three other officers who were called to Valley Park Middle School were, uh, where Fraser Glenn Cross was arrested were also called in to testify. One of them captured this dash cam video. Take a look. It shows Fraser Glenn Cross being arrested by Overland Park Police. You can see he's surrounded by several officers. Uh, in, now, today uh, also indicated he engaged in hate speech against Jewish people in the moments after he was arrested. Now, our Amy Hawley has full video release today. She's been tweeting all day long, oftentimes live tweeting all of those developments as they happen during the trial. So make sure to follow 41 Action News and our reporter, Amy Hawley, on Twitter and Facebook. You can also download the 41 Action News apps. Uh, that's a great place to get all of the absolute latest information. And then, of course, as always, here on the Now, we will give the absolute latest developments as they come in at 4 o'clock every day. One of the family members of the victim said, I can't stand to be in the courtroom, but they're following along with the coverage and watching Amy's tweets just because it's a way to keep track but not be so involved. Exactly. So it's a great exactly. way to do that. All right. Thanks, Tara, very much. Justin?